Now let's take a look at the magic wand tool. It shares the context menu of the quick selection tool and it's actually one of my favorite methods for knocking off a background off of the image. You can take a look at some of the advanced options and this time I would advise you to use them more often than in other tools. The tolerance will determine how many similar colors are added to your selection when you click and the anti-alias will help make your selection overall smoother. So determine your tolerance based on how many shades of colors are used on your background. Here I don't see many shades and in fact I see just about one color so a tolerance of about 10 20 or let's say right in the middle 15 would be good enough. We'll also keep anti-aliasing turned on to make sure that our selection is really nice and smooth. Once we've gotten all this done with, let's click on the background to make a selection and then press the delete key on our keyboards to get rid of the background. Now I can right click and choose deselect and take a look at the results.